Hey, what's up? I want to say something today. I, it's the beginning of September and a lot of exciting things going on, will be going on. And I can't, just so excited about wrapping all up Q4 2020. And who else is so excited about 2021, right? I, I want to say a couple things uh, that I've been around in this country since our 37th president. I want to say something about that and I have something to say about today's political climate. However, not, but not getting into deep into politics. <laughs> I suck in politics. Our, our country has endured so many challenges um, through leaderships, different leaderships of 45, total of 45 so far great men. The world has seen two world wars, right? Now is the year 2020, the world with its 7.8 billion humans around this planet has um, surely impacted with this infamous virus named COVID. It stands for coronavirus, right? And um, it had massively, and still going on, massively impacted, impacting in multi-dimensions uh, aspects in our world, right? We're talking about health crisis here. Right. So health, economy, job security, food security, and yes, sustainability. Um, how COVID has changed of our world tomorrow for forever. Right. We've seen it already. Reorienting our relationships with each other. Right. Socially, culturally, environmentally. I mean, doing business overall in general also is changing. It has to. I mean, you know, I've got a couple of things to say about that too. My point is this, that going back home front, our president in our country may not be the perfect person. Many of you had voiced your opinion in that. I mean, all over social media. Um, I, I, but I still feel that he is the one who can do the job right now and is doing it very well. And I personally admire his administration for their strength and endurance to stay in the fight, right? He is doing what he, what he has promised for, to all of us, right? Before, before he became president, he promised these things that he was gonna do and he is doing it at his best. And then some, <laughs> you know, facing all of these unprecedented challenges, right? Total of 45 great men. Many of those were incredible leaders. And some of them have led this country while, you know, in crisis, leadership in crisis. Of course, we all have our differences, differences of views and opinions. You know, of course, all of us are unique, right? We can voice our opinions. That's quite normal. You're all exercising your um, First Amendment. I mean, to a degree, it's acceptable, right? One thing is not acceptable is when you practice violence and deliberate violence. One thing is not acceptable is when you practice violence and deliberate violence to destroy just humanity in general destroys safety, security, and things like that. That is not acceptable. But yet it is our collective dynamics as human beings living in this shared space, huge space, planet Earth, we call our home. So I'm saying here that what if we just collectively start focusing hard, focus in our common, you know, common grounds, common search for our you know, the meaning of life, the purpose of life, where we're still here in this, in this space, <laughs> shared space called home, right? To, to our force good, good, you know, for goods using basic mutual respect, mutual understanding, um, you know, extending love, extending empathy. I still believe deeply we as human beings in humanity here, we still have the chance, we still have the hope to deflect self-annihilation to our existence and to our human experience. All I'm saying here is really clear. Let's work together. 
instead of fighting together. You know, after all, we're all in this together. I have so much to say in this. I love this country. I, I've been raised here, grew up here. And, you know, I've given all of my service to all my communities. I, uh, you know, got my education here in this country. And, you know, I don't ask much. Let's, let's work together. <laughs> you know, I, I've, you know, I've met so many professionals, so many leaders um, in my half a century, over half a century living on this earth. And I am just so come to this, you know, so far to my journey in life that I've never seen so many people are fighting. Fighting for what? We're all fighting for one thing, for, for the same things. But some of these things are really, really waste of time and energy. It, it's not necessary. So let's continue to prosper. Let's continue to work on this, focusing hard on positive things and then put all your energy in that. All right, that's all for me. Have a great day. And I know September is going to be a great month for all of us. And comes October, November, December, Q4, 2020. Here's to you. I wish you all well, safety, and to your health. God bless. Bye. This is Nikki Deer. Thank you so much.